Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the cool hidden features of the Swift keyboard on Android. Now, I've been using this keyboard for, I don't even remember, I mean, I've been using it for as long as it was launched, when the Play Store was called the Market. Yes. So let's see what are the special features that you can use if you are a Swift keyboard user. Well, let's get started and have a look. Now the very first trick is pretty simple but it's one of my personal favorites and it is enabling the arrow key on the keyboard. Now the arrow key can be very useful if you want to edit your text. I mean you're try typing a document or a text message and let's say you made a typo somewhere. Now if you want to go back you need those arrow keys and it can be very useful. So to enable that just open up the Swift key app and tap on layout and keys. Here, enable the toggle next to arrow keys. Now you'll see the arrow keys, namely up, down, left and right, show up at the bottom of the keyboard. You can now use them to easily navigate through the text for easier and faster editing. Now if you're a Gboard user, it's even easier if you just long tap on your spacebar. And we've already made a video about the same. I mean, if you're a Gboard user, there are some cool hidden tricks for you guys as well. And I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video. Now for now, let's move on to the next trick. So after enabling the arrow key, the next thing that you should enable is the number keys. Yes, I'm talking about the persistent number row that's above the keyboard. And I actually use that a lot on Samsung. And you can not only enable that on the keyboard, but what's even better is that you can customize it as well. First off, tap on the number position in number and symbols layout and then select the ideal position of your choice. What will happen now is that when you tap on the symbol keys, it will change the position of your number row as per your selection. However, if you'd like to have a dedicated number row enabled at all the times, just enable the toggle next to the number row and you are done. Now moving on, the next trick is about customization. Now you all might know that there are several themes that you can download for your Swift keyboard. But did you know that you can select your own wallpaper as a background for the keyboard? Yep, that's interesting, right? So to do that, head over to the theme section and tap on the custom tab. Now you can create your own custom theme for Swift key, which is super fun to do and goes an extra step in terms of personalization. Now moving on and let me call up Varun because well, the next tricks are some of his personal favorite. So why not you listen to him instead? Hey guys, miss me. <laughs> this is Varun from Guiding Tech and I'm back with yet another cameo role, I would say. So Ashish has already spoken of a couple of tips and tricks for the Swift key keyboard, but I'm here to add my own tips and tricks to that collection. Now, I don't care about what Ashish thinks. My personal favorite feature of SwiftKey has to, has to be the clipboard feature. This is one feature that I use quite a lot often and it's basically a life saver. And even if it's not a life saver, it's definitely, definitely a time saver for me. So the way it works is that you can add your own custom shortcuts. Uh, by shortcuts, I mean obviously your own custom shortcut to a longer text and you can paste them easily into the text box while you're typing. Now to use it, just head on to rich input settings and tap on clipboard. Here, tap on add a new clip and just type out your exact phrase word or whatever shortcut you want to set. Now, whenever you're typing, simply tap on the clipboard icon above the number row on your keyboard and just select your custom shortcut and it will be pasted right into the text box super conveniently. Now the way I use it more often is when I have to share my address for receiving all the review units or if I have to share my uh, personal details, something that I have like something that's fixed but I have to basically I don't want to waste my time writing it again and again. So that's my personal use case. You can definitely change it as per your convenience. Now if you're a Google keyboard user, Here's the thing, uh, Google also has a different solution to it. It's called something else, but the end result is something similar. And if you want to know what that is about, we've also done a video talking about the best Gboard tricks out there. The link to which will be in the description box. I'll force Ashish to put that. So make sure to check that video out as well. Okay, so personally, whenever I'm typing, I cannot live without the gesture, basically swiping keyboard. I used to tap on my keyboard to type, but now I've just adopted the swiping keyboard and that's just great. I've never even looked back. That said, I know a lot of people who still like to type out each letter, each alphabet 
in itself individually and that's completely fine i mean everyone has their own convenience and if you are faster that way that's great but here's a trick that will make you even faster now with the smartphones getting bigger and bigger uh, a lot of you guys will be typing with both of your hands so why not use a split keyboard board now to enable that simply tap on the more icon in the top of the keyboard and then tap on thumb now what will happen is that your keyboard will split down the middle and basically you can easily type with both of your thumbs in each hand and honestly i have recommended this feature to a lot of my close friends and they all loved it it definitely definitely improves the performance quite a lot and i'm sure you guys would enjoy this feature quite a lot well that's all from my side but that does not mark the end of this video because i just got a message from ashish that he also has some more points to add on to this video so make sure that you watch this video till the very end and as always please and please say that you like this format i, I mean i you don't have to have to like it but i hope you like it so that um, you know we make more of these videos anyway for me that's all from my side uh, ashish take this forward thanks varun that was quite interesting and now let me take you all through the next few hidden features and the next one in the list is live translation and because swift key is acquired by microsoft you get the bing translation now i'm not going to debate which one is better the google or the bing but the bing is what you're getting here and you need to live with that if you want to use the live translation feature on this keyboard so in order to use it just tap on the translate icon here now select the language you want and whatever you will type will automatically be translated and pasted to the text board pretty neat right now the next feature is very cool for people who like to multitask on their split screen things if you are having a uh, android which can actually take that multitasking seriously the keyboard also can help you out here so there is a thing called floating keyboard on swift key and you can place the keyboard actually anywhere on the screen if you enable and to access this just tap on the three dot icon and then tap on float you can now reposition it wherever you want and if you use a tablet this feature will easily become your personal favorite and i'm sure about it so guys those were some of the cool features of swift key for everybody out there now if you are a google keyboard or a gboard user you must check out our dedicated video for the same and i'll provide you with the links in the description of this video if you are a swift key user and you liked any of the tips that we provided in this video please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit that subscribe button as well so well that's all in this video and i hope you see in our next one until then take care and have a wonderful day bye bye